Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ronnie and here we learn how to keep it simply sleek. So today I woke up and I just decided I wanted to do some makeup. Um, no look particularly, but this is what we came up with. So if you're interested in how I achieve this look, then keep watching. So we're going to start off by priming my face. I'm going to use my NYX Angel Bell and I'm just going to take that all over my face before we jump into our foundation. For foundation today we're using the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. Now this is my first time using this foundation. Um, honestly I only bought it because it was on sale at Ulta Beauty. I'm using the color D10 and I'm going in with a brush but as you're going to see here I'm not really sure how I was feeling this foundation at first like it wasn't coming out the way I wanted it so take two we're going to try to put it on with our finger so here I'm just putting it on with my finger and then I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to blend it in that way I feel like it worked out a little better once I did it this way it's really not that bad of a foundation um, it's not as full of coverage as I thought it would be but it works out because I want this to be a natural look anyway so I'm just going to go ahead and continue blending this out and then I'm going to take my sponge and make it all nice and smooth. So next we're going to jump into some concealer. I'm using the Tarte Creaseless Concealer in the color Deep and I'm putting that underneath my eyes to conceal my dark circles and I'm going to put some on the top of my lip to hide my little mustache on my chin and again this step is important because it is what's going to bring that natural highlight back into the center of your face. I'm taking my sponge and I'm just going to blend this out. So I'm also going to take that concealer and put it on my eyelid since we are going in with some eyeshadow today. Now for setting powder, I'm using the Revolution Baking Powder in the color Banana Deep. This again is my first time using this. Again, this was also on sale so I figured I would try it out. It works pretty well. It was a little yellow for me. I'm used to using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder which is a little more white. But it worked out fine. Um, I'm going ahead and I'm going to set my eyelids and underneath my eyes. Everywhere I put concealer, I'm going to set. Using my Tarte Contour Palette, I'm going to go into these two colors here together and I'm going to use this to contour my face. On a angle fluffy brush, I'm going to go right in underneath my cheekbone, tapping that into place using a upward direction. And then I'm going to repeat this on the other side, also on my forehead and along my jawline because again, this is the area where you're naturally darker in your face. So next I'm going in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. This is in the color Dark Deepest and I'm going to put this all over my face just to set my foundation. So I decided that that setting powder was a little too yellow for me so to lighten that up a bit I went on top of it with my Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder and I just put that underneath my eyes to brighten that area up a little. Now I'm just going to dust off some of that powder from my eyes before we're going in with some eyeshadow here. First I'm going to use my Tarte Young Wild and Cruelty Free Palette and I'm going to go into the color Odair and I'm going to use this as a transition color. I'm taking a fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to put this all over my eyelid. And of course we're going to go ahead and repeat this on the other eye before jumping into our next palette which is going to be the Modern Renaissance. This is one of my favorite palettes guys. So I'm going to go in with the color Love Letter and I'm going to use the brush that came along with the palette. Don't judge my palette guys, I know it's a little dirty, it's been loved. I'm going to take that brush and I'm going to just deepen up that transition color that I put in there. It was a little light so I wanted to give it a little more of a pop. So instead of putting this color all over my eyelid like I did before, I'm kind of focusing this color more in the upper part of my eye kind of avoiding the inner lid of the eye and focusing more on the outer corner. So notice that I am taking my time and I am thoroughly blending this out. You don't want any harsh lines, especially when you're going for a soft glam look. You want everything to be nice and seamless. So 
now using that same palette I'm going into the color Venetian Red with a smaller skinny brush and I'm going to put this right at the crease of my eye. I want to focus this right in that area because I am going to begin to cut the crease. Now this is soft glam so I don't want a harsh cut crease. So I'll show you how that's going to work out later. But yes, make sure you put this color right in the crease and you want to only focus it in that area and make sure you try to blend it out. So here I'm going to take that same brush. I didn't put any more product on the brush and I'm just going to use that to blend all these colors together. Make sure that I'm getting rid of all the harsh lines. Now to cut my crease, I'm going in with this straight angle brush using some concealer. Now to be honest, I probably should have used a more rounded brush. I was being a little lazy, I didn't feel like looking for it, but it gets the job done. So what I'm doing is I'm marking out exactly where I want my eyelid color to go. This is going to give your eyelid color more of a pop. So once I have that line marked out exactly where I want it, I'm going to go in with some more concealer and I'm going to just blend that all over my lid to make sure that it's fully covered before I go in with some eyeshadow. Because I don't want this to get too dry, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeshadow color now. So I'm going in with the color Buon Fresco on a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to just tap that right onto the lid. I'm starting in the middle and I'm going to work my way outwards. I'm actually not going to put any on the inner corner because I'm going to go in with a white color after I finish this color here. Using that same brush I decided to go into the color Tempara and I'm going to put that right on the inner corner of my eyelid and I'm going to blend it into that previous color that I put on the eyelid. So to repeat the previous steps that I did on the other eye, I'm going to first again start off by cutting my crease using some concealer and then I'm going to go into that eyeshadow palette again with the color Buon Fresco on the middle and outer corner of the lid and then I'm going to take Tempara and I'm going to put that on the inner corner of my eyelid. So next I'm going to go back into that Venetian red and I'm going to just touch up that color that I put in my crease. Again, I don't want this cut crease to be too harsh, so I want to make sure that I'm blending this out to give it a nice shadowy effect. Of course, we're going to just go ahead and repeat that same step on this eye before I go in with my brush using that color love letter from the beginning and I'm going to just use that to blend all of these colors together. I'm taking that right on top of my crease and just blending it all out. For liner, I'm going to use my Tarte liquid liner in the color black. Now I do like this liner because it has a felt tip and it is angled and you get more control of what you're doing. So here I'm going to start off in the middle of my eyelid and work my way towards the back, applying the liner as close to the lash line as I can get it. You wanna make sure that the inner corner of your liner is the thinnest part, cause you want it to be very thin and then work its way to be a little thicker. Now after I have my baseline in place, I'm going to go ahead and start my wing. I start off by applying a very thin line to the outside of my eye and then I'm going to go in and angle that to the inside of the eye. Now notice I'm not starting at the very end of that wing. I'm starting towards the middle of that line and then I'm going to fill that in. So now that I have my wing how I like it, I'm going to go back in and even out that line that I started off with, making sure that it goes from thin to thick, starting from the inner corner, working my way out to the outer part of the eye. So you want to try to get this line as straight as possible, but if it's not perfect, that's fine. Nobody should be all up on you that close anyway to see that your eyeliner is not completely straight. 
here I'm just repeating that same process on the other eye trying to get these liners to match as much as possible they're not going to be twins but try to get it as close as possible in thickness that tedious part is done I'm going to go in with some mascara I'm using my fave mascara which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex and I'm going to go ahead and just put this all over my lashes I noticed that I did forget to highlight underneath my brows so I'm going to go back into that Tarte palette I'm going to take the color Swan Song and I'm going to put that right underneath my eyebrows to give it a nice highlight I am wearing lashes today, but I decided to go ahead and put those on off camera so I will be back in a jiffy. So now that I have my lashes on, I'm going to go ahead and dust off that powder that was all over my face. And then we're going to move into the next step. Here I'm taking that color Tempara on a small smudge brush and I'm putting that all in the corner of my eye, working from the bottom all the way up to the inner corner of my eyelid. Next, I'm going to go in with that color Love Letter in that same palette, and I'm going to work that on the bottom of my waterline, smudging it out and blending it into that outer corner of my eye as well. So for bottom liner, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay pencil in the color black, and I'm going to put that right in my waterline making sure that I am putting a thin line and connecting it to my wing. When doing bottom liner, you probably want to do it in small sections to make sure that your eyes don't water up and then you're crying on your makeup and then you messed it up. So just do it in small sections and we avoid all of that. And to finish up the eyes, we're going to go in with some mascara on the bottom lashes. Make sure that you're being careful to not touch your face because again you mess up your makeup and then you gotta fix something that doesn't need to be fixed. Next we're gonna go in with some highlighter. I'm using the Fenty Beauty. I think this is in the color Hustler Baby and I'm going to put that on my cheekbones and around my lip. Using that Tarte Contour Palette from earlier, I'm going to go into this white highlighter color and I'm going to put this in the inner corner of my eyes to give me that nice little effect. I'm also going to take this and put a little bit on my nose because I forgot to highlight my nose. Here I'm going to take my rose water and I'm going to spray that all over my face. I love this part. I love the feeling of my makeup just beginning to set in place. And then I'm going to just let this dry down while I do my lips. Now I'm going in with my MAC lip liner in the color Heroin. I'm just outlining my lips before I go in with my MAC liquid lipstick in the color Lady Be Good and I'm going to put that all over my lips, pat it into place before going in with my gloss because I do like my lips to have a little bit of shine to it. I'm going to use the NYX lingerie lip gloss and I'm going to put that right on top of this lipstick. And for setting spray, I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter and I'm going to spray this all over my face. Got a little carried away there, but whatever, we're going to let that dry down. This step is very important because again, it's going to keep your makeup in place all day long. So I'm going to go untie my hair and I'm going to come back and give you the final look. So here you have it guys. This is the final look. Ooh, I'm feeling a little foxy with this ponytail. Okay. But yes, this is the final look. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every week. And remember to keep it simply slate, ladies. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.